Today is Monday, June 10th, and here's some things that are happening around the Disney parks that I think you should know about. If you're not subscribed, please consider it so you don't miss any of my helpful Disney info. First, if you happen to be visiting Disneyland in June, click right here and watch this video because it has everything you need to know about Disneyland in June, including special events and ride closures and weather, all kinds of great info, even a crowd calendar right there, so make sure you check that out. There are some entertainment changes happening at the Disneyland Resort. The Doctor Strange show in Avengers Campus is closing. The last day will be June 30th. This show has been a part of Avengers Campus since opening day, and I kind of saw that it's going away. I really enjoyed it. There's rumors that it's closing because back in May, Disneyland character performers voted to unionize and that might mean that Disneyland cuts back on shows and other entertainment like this. I hope not, but it will be interesting to see if something new takes its place in the future or if they just leave that space empty. Another entertainment cut that I just heard about is the piano player at the Golden Horseshoe. I'm so sad about this. He was amazing and it was fun to sit in there and have a snack and a drink a treat, hang out, take a break, and listen to the piano player. So this is disappointing. The stage has been turned into a display. I don't know. I hope this isn't just the beginning of entertainment cuts around the parks, but we will have to wait and see. Magic key sales have been paused at Disneyland. This pause is only for new sales of magic keys. So if you have a magic key, you're still going to be able to renew it when your renewal date comes up, so don't panic. But we don't know when Magic Key sales will open back up again. Last time Disney stopped selling them, they were paused for two months, so we'll just have to wait and see. Now, you might have heard that Tinkerbell has been canceled at the Disney parks. There's some news stories going around. I'm not going to say the source because they're not very reputable, which makes sense that they'd be sharing this story. But there's some news stories going around that Disney has canceled Tinkerbell. So here's the text that I've been seeing on some different sites. It says, Tinkerbell, unfortunately, has become a problematic image for our guests, specifically young girls. Specifically, in terms of the portrayal of unrealistic body image as well as dependency of approval and or attention from Peter Pan, as seen in previous incarnations of the character. We feel these traits are no longer representative of our inclusive focused values and thus are currently in process of redesigning an updated Tinkerbell for modern audiences. Supposedly, that's from a Disney rep, dated May 2024. Uh, um, okay, first off, if a Disney rep wrote this, it's riddled with errors. Uh, that's our first clue. But thankfully, I can tell you that it is not true. This rumor seems to stem from a New York Times story that detailed an internal study that Disney did a few years ago, analyzing which of their characters didn't hold up to modern day standards, and Tink was one of them. Now, someone dug up the study and started spreading info that Tink was going to be banned, probably clickbait, that kind of thing. An actual real life Disney rep weighed in on the situation and said, Tinkerbell is a beloved character and she continues to appear in all of our parks around the world. So that is a rumor. Thank goodness. I love Tinkerbell. She's my favorite character. I, for one, would be extremely disappointed if she was no longer included in the Disney parks. Our next topic sounds too good to be true, but it is definitely real. This is not a rumor. Disneyland is having an amazing ticket sale that's going on right now for adults and kids tickets. And my partners at Getaway Today have them even cheaper than Disneyland. So here's the details. Tickets are valid for travel June 10th through September 26th of 2024. Ticket prices start at $50 a day for kids and $83 a day for adults. This is huge savings. Getaway Today's tickets will be an extra $5 off the gate price and... They offer Getaway Today's flexibility. So if you buy directly through Disney, then your tickets are going to be more expensive and they're non-refundable. So if your plans change, too bad for you, you're just out that money. Always buy your tickets with Getaway Today. These special ticket prices apply to three-day tickets only. There's a Monday through Thursday ticket offer that has the most savings. And then there's a Monday through Sunday ticket offer that offers the most flexibility. So you can decide which one is right for you. 
You can upgrade to Park Hoppers or Genie Plus. You'll just have to pay the additional cost. The very best part is tickets do not have to be used consecutively. Just all three days must be used by September 26th. So you could do a day or two in the summer and then go back for the beginning of Halloween time. It's kind of awesome that you get this flexibility. Now, you can combine this deal with one of Getaway Today's amazing hotel offers to save the most money, and that's definitely what I recommend you do. They have a lot of hotels that offer a free night, and the savings is significant. I'll put a link in the description so you can grab this deal before it's gone, or you can give Getaway Today a call at 855-GETAWAY. Just make sure you tell them Mix and Some Magic sent you for the best rates. Let's talk about Tiana's Bayou Adventure. This attraction is opening on June 28th at Walt Disney World. No date has been announced for the opening at Disneyland yet, but we're going to speculate on that in just a minute. Disney dropped a point of view ride through of the Disney World version of the attraction, and people are not happy with it at all. I have had really high hopes for this attraction because I feel like we all get pretty upset when Disney closes an attraction and redoes a ride, but for the most part, they always do a really good job, and it turns out great. For example, Tower of Terror at Disneyland, when it closed down, everyone was so sad about it. So upset. Then Guardians of the Galaxy opened, and uh, a lot of people, myself included, like Guardians of the Galaxy better than Tower of Terror. Disney did an awesome job with the re-theming, and... The attraction's amazing. So that's kind of what I was hoping would happen with Splash Mountain. But after watching the ride video, I also have some concerns. I'm going to play the video in the background while I'm talking. So you can kind of get an idea of maybe what I'm talking about. If you haven't watched it, just Google the point of view ride through for Tiana's Bayou Adventures. So you can watch it yourself. But to me, the ride felt kind of boring. There seems to be a lot of empty space with nothing to look at. The storyline is basically non-existent, which is sad because Disney thrives on their storytelling. Like, that is what they do. They seem to have missed the mark on the storytelling, and the music seemed to be a little lackluster. Flash Mountain had an amazing storyline with Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear. And we as writers got to experience the whole story as we went along. The music was iconic. I mean, who doesn't know all the words to zippity doo And the scene right before the big drop was epic. There was tension and a big buildup before we got to the drop. What was going to happen? Was Br'er Rabbit going to get away? It was perfect. But all of that seems to be gone on Tiana's Bayou Adventure. In fact, there's no villain at all which is too bad because there's a great villain in The Princess and the Frog. There's no conflict in the storyline and there's no buildup to the big drop. I just found myself a little bored watching the ride through and disappointed. I feel like they missed the mark here and I hope that when I actually ride it in person that I feel differently. So if you've watched the ride through, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Tell me down in the comments. And that brings me to our next topic. When will Tiana's Bayou Adventure open up at Disneyland? Now, this is complete speculation because we don't have an official opening date. But if we look at major milestones that have happened for the Walt Disney World version, we can kind of use that as a guide to guess when the attraction will open up at Disneyland. The earliest it could possibly open based on dates from Walt Disney World would be early October. Now, early October is significant because it is the start of Disney's new fiscal year, and Disney will sometimes base attraction openings and closings around financial quarters for budget reasons. Disney also likes to open attractions on Friday, so October 4th has been tossed around as a possible opening date. Another time that seems like a strong possibility is in mid-November. The attraction at Disney World is opening on June 28th, which is one week before a big holiday, the 4th of July. And Disneyland might follow suit and open up the Friday before Thanksgiving, which would be November 22nd. It will be interesting to see what happens. If I had to guess, I would say earlier in October, just because I think Disney is really anxious to get this ride going. But we'll just have to wait and see. The last thing I want to cover is the reopening date for Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. 
This attraction is closed right now because they're redoing the queue. And I have seen a lot of reels and posts floating around saying that Haunted Mansion will not open until January of 2025. Now, these reels and posts are just clickbait trying to get views and hits on websites. And I want to set the record straight so that there is no confusion. Technically, the regular version of Haunted Mansion won't be open until early next year. But Haunted Mansion Holiday will be opening for the Halloween season. Halloween kicks off on August 23rd this year at Disneyland, and I'm guessing the Haunted Mansion Holiday will be ready to go by then. This is not a secret. Go to the Disneyland website, look up Halloween time. It's listed as one of the offerings during the Halloween season. Disney isn't going to list it as an offering if they're not planning on opening it this year. So I think it's safe to say that it will be ready to go in the next couple of months. I'm hoping that it opens right at the Halloween kickoff, but again, we'll just have to wait and see. All right, that's all I've got for you today. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss my next Disney news and rumors video. If you have any thoughts or comments about the latest Disney news and rumors, leave them down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk soon.